Hello everyone and welcome to Salud SA, San Antonio's premier wellness television show. I'm your host, Anastasia, and each month I'll be seeking out San Antonio's best kept wellness secrets and featuring homegrown alternative healing pioneers from our community. My hope is that this show will inspire you to expand your wellness paradigm to include options for alternative healing and lesser known wellness modalities. This week, I'm introducing you to Audrey Stevens, a certified vibrational sound therapist whose passion is bringing people to a profound state of relaxation using the power of sound and vibration. Get ready to sit back, relax, and learn as Audrey gives us a sample of her healing magic, introduces us to some of her instruments, and tells us all about the healing properties of sound. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I'm so happy you're here. So let's go ahead and get started by talking about what is a certified vibrational sound therapist and what do they do? Well, that's wonderful. I am a certified vibrational sound therapist and um, you go to a class and I studied for a week, an intensive week, Mm -hmm. and we learn different protocols for sound, vibrational sound healing. So these are crystal bowls and these can be used like in a sound bath, just for listening, for relaxation. Vibrational sound therapy involves laying bowls, bronze hand hammered bowls on the body and vibrating them at different frequencies. So imagine this laying on the body, the sound, and then these are placed on the body. So in the course or in our training, we learn the protocols Mm -hmm. and how um, we use a measured strike technique, Mm -hmm. which is more pleasing to the brain, and how to do this for optimal relaxation Mm -hmm. as a therapist. Awesome, that sounds fantastic. And so how were you introduced to this modality? What what sparked your interest? So it's such a, I, I'm, sometimes I'm not even really sure how I got here. Mm-hmm. Um, the first time I heard crystal bowls was in a yoga class. It was a Shavasana mm-hmm. meditation. Mm-hmm. And I was so moved by the way they made me feel mm-hmm. that I bought one. And then I started accumulating <laughs> crystal bowls. And for my 50th birthday, my husband purchased a the course for me to get yeah. certified. Oh, nice. And all I ever wanted to do was play crystal bowls. And this course was all about, you know, there's massage therapists in this class. Um, there's Reiki practitioners. Um, there was a neurologist in the class. It mm-hmm. was something completely different and new. So... Um, that really deepened my desire to learn more Mm -hmm. and to travel with, um, you know, sound therapy because, you know, resonance and, and sound healing is, I mean, it's all over, you find it all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that was my introduction and it just kind of blossomed from there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I've been to sound baths before. And of course I'll talk a little bit about yours as well. And I've always, uh, I mean, I don't think you can't, you can't n- not enjoy a sound bath. It's just, it's so nice. I feel like like my aura is just getting a massage and <laughs> I like I always see all kinds of colors and I just feel my body vibrating and I, I absolutely love it. So um, yeah, so I was super excited to talk to you today. So who can benefit from vibrational therapy or sound therapy? Uh, what kind of people do you help? Well, Generally, everyone can benefit from um, resonant sound. Um, We know how we feel like when you're in a busy street and there's traffic and there's horns honking, um, that's dissonant sound. Mm -hmm. And that is um, kind of stressful. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Not not as a as stress free as walking along a beach and hearing the ocean waves or um, walking in the forest and listening to birds singing. 
So sound helps us slow down. Mm-hmm. Um, your brain follows the sound and slows down the rest of the body. Uh, it's called entrainment. Mm-hmm. Um, similar to when a baby starts, the heartbeat starts measuring or um, simulating the mother's lullaby. Mm-hmm. It happens. We slow down when the sound around us slows down. Yeah. So anybody can benefit from that who needs stress relief. But I have a variety of um, sound healing seekers and clients that I um, work with in my home studio, uh, ranging from cancer patients to um, children who are, you know, having anxiety in school to um, people with pain. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some clients that have fibromyalgia or other autoimmune diseases. I've also helped people who have or struggle struggling with things like addiction. Um, or just depression, Mm -hmm. grief. Um, It it just helps uplift the spirit after a sound session. Mm -hmm. Um, When the bowls are actually laid on the body, your organs are hearing a sound differently than they've ever heard. Mm -hmm. There's a vibration, and then there's a sound. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people can benefit from it. And when I say cancer patients, this isn't something that's going to heal a cancer patient, yeah. but what it will do and what I've been told mm-hmm. is it helps the, the person who is, you know, diagnosed with any sort of disease relax. Mm-hmm. And that is when they're able to be more focused on their own healing. Yes, definitely. I've been asked by some of my, um, my clients, if I could play my bowls during their chemotherapy session Mm. or even during a dialysis session, just to calm the the central nervous system and and provide relaxation. I've worked in hospice. Mm -hmm. Um, We don't always realize that at that stage in our lives, when we're going through that transition, it can be very stressful. Yeah, for sure. You're worried about um, what you're leaving behind. You're, You're concerned about how things are going to be left. So mm-hmm. I have provided hospice for one client, well, was, was my aunt, mm-hmm. my aunt, um, Mary Louise. And um, she really just loved the sound. Yeah. And she asked me every time I'd go visit her, where are the bells? <laughs> but this was her favorite bowl right oh, there. Oh, nice. I can't wait And to um, I was actually asked by my family to play bowls during the rosary. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it nice. just calmed the entire room. Everyone was crying. And then everybody just relaxed Mm -hmm. and they were able to just, you know, focus on her. Yeah. So that's that's a variety of people. Yeah. That really covers the entire spectrum of of people that can benefit from sound therapy. And now, does this have anything to do with um, or sound healing in general have anything to do with the fact that, you know, we're made up of atoms and we're vibrating, you know, at at this microscopic level and and then back to that entrainment you were talking about it what does it actually what does the sound actually do the vibration actually do to our our cells and um you know i'm not a scientist yeah nor am um, i so this is totally <laughs> antidotal people <laughs> love to talk about frequency and vibration and all i know is that as everything vibrates everything has a frequency and as humans we are vibrating i believe around 56 hertz Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, the various instruments that are vibrating at different hertz as well. Like this crystal bowl right here, it's emitting an electric biofield. You can literally feel it. And that resonates with our electric biofield. And all I know is it just kind of helps us balance. Oh, you can definitely feel it. Or right. I can. Yeah. Well, that kind of leads into my, well, into our next kind of segment. If you want to tell us about these beautiful bowls that you have and, and their properties and what they do, that'd be fantastic. I would love to. Um, so we have crystal bowls and some of these bowls are infused with other gemstones. Like this one has some aquamarine and moss agate. This bowl has moldavite and it is playing at a B note which is, uh, they say, aligned with the third eye chakra. This one has rose quartz. And it's an F note. That's an A note. But the beautiful thing is you can create a binaural 
um, they call it a binaural beat. So this is a D note. And when you play that with the B note, it creates a harmony. Nice. And a vibration that's pleasing to the brain. It's so relaxing. I'm, I'm <laughs> already chilled out. <laughs> And you can really feel it. It really resonates yeah. through the floor and to my feet. And this is just a clear crystal quartz. The other ones are made out of uh, milky quartz. So, yeah. Yes. And and so, what are these? They look they look kind of like wind chimes. Those are actually called carillion chimes, and they're also creating a binaural beat within it. And I like playing these like close to the ear. That's mm -hmm. lovely. And they're said to create theta waves in the brain, mm -hmm. which are responsible for deep relaxation and um, general happiness is what I'm told. Nice. Well, I, I used to listen to some meditations at night that were binaural beats. And uh, yeah, I knew that it was supposed to help my brain waves get in um, in sync and entrained and get me into the theta theta um, waves faster. And I always felt very relaxed. Now, I don't know if it was, you know, uh, I don't know if it was really working or it was the placebo effect, but I, I always enjoyed it. Well, um, digital music is wonderful, but you're not getting the vibration that you get with analog music. Mm, yeah. Okay. So... For someone like me who doesn't understand that, <laughs> so what does that mean? Does that mean that that um, most of our uh, electronics nowadays, everything is is digital? So does it mean it takes out that particular frequency? So you're yes. getting kind of like a washed version. <clears throat> you oh, know, shucks. not to downplay it, but digital music is a digitized representation of the music. Yeah. Whereas analog is actually recording the music, mm. um, and you get the vibration. Remember, the yeah. vibration is is what's so um, medicinal about music and yeah. what it does for you. Yeah. Um, you know. Awesome. <laughs> so it is pleasing, but I say, and of course I'm biased, but there's really nothing like a live sound bath or live music, a live concert. Mm -hmm. um, there's really nothing like that. That's why we love those experiences and why um, sound therapy resonates with everyone. I even have worked with animals. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Tell us about your, well, it, it, one of, well, my favorite stories, because I already know a little bit about you, is um, has to do with elephants. And that's actually your Instagram handle and your Facebook handle. So tell us about that. Tell us about your work with animals. Yes. Well, um, my handle is Blue Elephant Vibes. And that actually came to me before I worked with elephants. Oh, nice. So it almost manifested, I guess. Yeah. It did manifest. Yeah. Um, I was uh, having a dream about uh, the blue eye of an elephant. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was amazing. It happened during a yoga class while they were playing yeah. bulls and gongs. And then when I got my certification, the, um, the head of the Vibrational Sound Association told me that he takes a group to Thailand mm -hmm. to an elephant sanctuary to play bulls for elephants who are having anxiety. Wow. <laughs> so I had to go on that trip. And, yes. Um, <laughs> I went to Thailand and we played um, these bronze bowls for mm -hmm. I, my elephant. Her name was Bodhi mm -hmm. and she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I just spent time in a lemongrass field playing mm -hmm. bowls. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> At one point she took the bowl from my hand with her trunk oh. and, and held it close to her ear. So. They loved it. They also yeah. have giant bulls hanging from the ceiling at these elephant hospitals. Mm -hmm. And they play the bulls when they're trying to administer medicine or during their delivery. Mm -hmm. And it's just very calming. Wow. I had a cat attend a sound bowl last night. Somebody <laughs> brought their kitten. Aww. And uh, I thought, she's going to, that cat's going to walk around and. Yeah. She just slept and <laughs> relaxed. And when I walked by, she reached her palm, out, her little foot out to me. Um, so it's amazing. It's very calming for most animals, too. Yeah. I, uh, when I first got 
one of my bowls. I went outside in the backyard. It was a full moon. And I was like, I'm going to play out here. And yeah. um, we live near the, um, a park. Mm -hmm. And as I was playing the bowls, all the coyotes in wow. the woods started howling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's it's. It's interesting, and and the animals, you know, feel and hear yeah, vibration. Yeah, so. definitely. Seen some, had some magical experiences yeah. doing this. It's absolutely oh. uh, my passion, and um, I'm continuously learning mm -hmm. and learning what works and what doesn't work, and um, what are some new things and ways that this modality can help mm -hmm. humanity. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. I love that. So there's one last bowl here that we didn't talk about. Can you tell us about that one? Absolutely. So this bowl is a, it's an antique bowl, actually. And um, it's from Thailand. And it has probably the name of the family written on it. Mm -hmm. But it sounds so amazing. And what I love about this bowl is that it has like a little handle here. Mm -hmm. So I can use this to wave around somebody's body. It just has a beautiful sound. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I love and antiques. So, yeah. <laughs> so what I was told is that this bowl might have been used for food or uh, maybe to put an offering for the Buddha at the altar. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like it has such an amazing energy. It's just yeah. beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Another bowl we didn't talk about either is one of these oh, yeah, over here. This yeah. One in the back. So when we talk about having um, a sound, a vibrational sound session outside of a sound bath, um, and bowls are laid on the body, this is called an acupressure bowl. So it is a bronze therapeutic bowl. You can hear the vibration, but it's laid on the body. Like I love to use this one on the oh. feet for plantar fasciitis. Yes. It just feels really good. You're getting the benefit of the copper mm -hmm. from the bronze because these are bronze bowls. And then you're also getting the vibration. So it just vibrates. And you put it on just various occasions or you wherever. You lay it on pressure prints. I mean, we received some training in traditional Chinese medicine mm -hmm. where you put the pressure points and then you're able to get and kind of, I guess, trigger point yeah. the, um, you know, the pain point and provide the, the vibration and then pressure as well. Yeah. Um, there's some really people cool. that use this one um, to do a facial, like on the face, oh. because the vibration can help move fluid yeah. and um, just provide an overall radiance during a facial or something like mm, that. Love that. So. And you have a fork here too, don't you? I also use tuning forks during my sessions and during my sound baths. Um, some tuning forks that I'm able to lay on the body. Um, this one is just a sound and it's 4,000 hertz and um, 4,096 hertz to be exact. It's a C note and it's supposed to be the vibration of the sun. Mm. <laughs> so I use a crystal to tune that it's very high pitch. Yeah. And because it is so high, it doesn't really last as long. But it's, a, it's just another tool that we use. Mm -hmm. um, I have another one like this that is the planet Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And um, Jupiter is supposed to bring joy and luck. And so when you just use this, it's just a nice high vibration. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And, and just to let you all know, and if you ever had a session with Audrey, she has a beautiful space. It's full of all these magical bowls and crystals and gongs <laughs> and it's it's just amazing. I, I absolutely loved it there. So well we've gotten to the point here where I think we're ready to to hear some bowls. So awesome. if you don't mind. I absolutely so for a sound bath, um, I usually don't go deeply into any sort of meditation script. I just tell people to get into a comfortable position, laying on the floor or sitting up, usually laying on the floor or laying in a comfortable area, and um, try to focus the mind on perhaps uh, um, the heart's desire. How often do we really think about the heart's desire? Mm -hmm. And so thinking about that, just letting yourself float.
And now take a deep breath. And hopefully feeling calmer and more relaxed. Oh, that was balanced. amazing. I got my meditation <laughs> in here. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes, I loved it. I could feel, I could, I, I could just feel all the vibration. And, and then I was seeing a lot of green, which is the heart chakra, which is really nice. I love that it's, you know, I felt like it was really opening and also was getting a lot of yellow. So solar plexus energy. Um, I love that. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you so much. That's yeah. just a statement that um, it's we're just a spectrum of light and that's sound and color and all of it. It's pretty much the same thing. And I, I appreciate you having me so that I can talk about this healing modality. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, truly been um, a, a change in my life and I hope in the life of others. So yeah, well, it's definitely my pleasure. Um, really quickly before we leave though. So yes. tell us, you mentioned it earlier, but tell us your handles so we can Excellent. find you. Yes, um, Blue Elephant Vibes on Instagram and on Facebook. And I do a weekly class um, where it's just a full sound bath at a yoga, local yoga studio, as well as a monthly event at, a, at various studios. And then of course I do my private sessions. Great, thank so. you so much. Thank I you. really appreciate it, I loved it, it felt so good. I loved being here, thank you. Thank you.